it's what it is cuz how to write a book how i wrote my book i can actually talk about this now you know man's got the evidence a lot of people on YouTube want to talk how to do this, how to do that, but they ain't got no receipts. Now I can actually tell people how to write a book, because I've done it before. So before, because this book took me forever to bring out, I could have easily cut eight months off of this book yeah, in terms of publishing it and bringing it out in it. But procrastinating and being really busy and that, um, yeah, just made it drag out or whatever. It? It's, only, it's only true say the lockdown happened. That was a blessing in disguise because I was out of work. So all I, had to, all I could do to keep myself busy was make YouTube videos and write my book. So that's what I did throughout the lockdown, innit? The first lockdown, innit? In March uh, 2020, innit? So imagine... Uh, before that, when I first started writing a book, or well, just before I started writing a book, in it, to myself, how am I gonna get this thing started? Car, man's never wrote a book before. Furthermore, a man has never read a fucking book. I should title this video, "I'm the author who's never read a book." I never read a book before. Obviously, a man's read bits and pieces of books. Obviously. I think the only book I may have been close to finishing, or at least halfway through, was Of Mice and Men, yeah, UK curriculum, innit? I think everyone has to read Of Mice and Men, that and another book, but anyway, I've never read a book from beginning to end, I remember I started trying to read Harry Potter's uh, uh, The Philosopher's Stone, got through the first chapter, I don't even know where that book is right now, innit? So, um, yeah, I didn't even know where to start with writing a book. Yeah. Obviously, my book's a biography or whatever. You know, so. I didn't even know where to start in it. So, man done the normal thing that most people would do. Jumped on YouTube, step-by-step -step guide on how to write a book. Uh, there was one video, 13 steps or something like that, how to write a book. Started watching this video. Man's giving out steps like, I'm not even messing about. Step one, get a pen. Step two, find somewhere comfortable to sit. Like, just some dumb steps. Like, man's talking about the obvious thing, innit? So, after I got through, like, the fourth or the fifth step, and I was like, fuck this, innit? Then I think I must have left it for a few days or whatever, innit? And I just thought to myself, do you know what, yeah? In this world, when you're building something or whatever, and sometimes you can't always do things in chronological order. So you know what? I just started writing one random chapter. And I think, I'm only guessing here, I think, obviously if you read my book, I think my first chapter was the school entrepreneur. So when I was talking about when I was in school and how I got into buying and selling crisp and drinks and that in school. So... If you come to this video looking for a step-by-step -step guide on how to write a book or biography and that, this ain't that video. The best advice I can give you, especially, especially if it's a biography, is just start in the middle. Start with one chapter. Start with one chapter. Obviously, your lifestyle is going to be different to mine, but whatever in it, yeah, talk about... Um, some something memorable in your life. The day you pass your driving test. The day you got married. Your best holiday. And then, like what I did, so I started off with the school entrepreneur. These times, man's like yeah, 12, 13 years old, and I started working forwards and I started working backwards. That's it. Next thing you know, man's got 28 chapters from one, but it starts from that one chapter. You don't have to start from chapter one, you know, or and work your way through to chapter 28. You can start at chapter seven or eight. Obviously, when you first write that, it's going to be the first chapter, but eventually it will become chapter number seven. Funny enough, my the first chapter that you would read if you read the book, is called Before Existence, and I was chatting about my mum or whatever, innit, yeah? 
That was my last chapter. So imagine I've got chapters 1 to 28. And you would think, oh, no person would write them in chronological order. No, 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 no. My first chapter was actually my last chapter that I wrote. So make a fucking start. You've got some, especially a biography. I can't tell you how to really write a fictional book or whatever in it. But a biography, if you want to write a life story or whatever in it, yeah. Start with any chapter. Start right in the middle. Start with a memorable moment. And then start working your way backwards and start working your way forwards. But the first, <laughs> the most important thing is, man, for make a start. And keep on it as well. Keep on it. Keep on it. Say to yourself, like, even if it's like one paragraph a day, one paragraph a day, or one paragraph every two days, be strict with it. You don't want to be like me wasting eight months or a year. I could have easily had this book out a year early. Man was saying it from day. I know a certain man watching man from day one. Talk about, because I kept on hollering about, oh yeah, I'm going to bring out this book. I'm going to bring out this book. Man, like, oh, whatever, innit? But yeah, it's out now. It's out now. Man, I had to slap, you know. Yeah, it's out now. It's out now. Yeah, so. yeah my man's man. My people, them around me, is proud of me. I'm proud of myself as well, you know. Because... If you had said to me, like, I remember I used to have an English teacher called Mr. Wills, white man. Big up Mr. Wills from Winchmore. Uh, when I used to be messing around in his class or whatever, not paying attention. If anyone ever said to me, when man was 14, 15, you would become an author in years to come, I tell you, shut your mouth. Like, you're lying. Man, man not even like English. What? English literature, English language, what? No, fam, man, not interested in books. There was even a point in school, you know when man stopped bringing books to school? You know them point there, like, well, if I weren't buying and selling crisp and drinks in school, yeah, so, yeah, go and check out the um, school entrepreneur chapter. If I weren't buying and selling crisp and drinks in school, there would have been a point where I would have stopped carrying a bag but true say I was buying and selling crispin drinks in school, man had to bring a bag to school to fit all the stock in. There was a point where man didn't even care about education and that. Man didn't even care about education and that. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, but yeah, my man's my man's man's proud of myself. But like if you want to write a fictitious book, so something that you're making up, yeah, fictitious book, something you're making up. Do what they say, so do what they taught, they, they told man to do in school. Who, what, when, why? Let's start off with that. Who's the characters? What happened? When did it happen? Why did it happen? Start brainstorming, start building around that. Start building around that. Yeah, man. But yeah, the, the most important thing, like anything, forget about writing books now, yeah? Make a flipping start. Make a start. Any dream you got, any look what ambition you got, make a start. Because I'm telling you, you're going to regret it in years to come. You want to start a YouTube channel? Make that first video. You don't know where it's going to take you. Look all them, all them big YouTubers. Whoever, whoever your favourite YouTuber is who's big. They started from somewhere. They started from that one video. If they never started that one video, they wouldn't have all these millions of subscribers and that. All their makeup tutorial girls and that. Trust me, a lot of them probably was a bit, you know, oh, I don't want to make videos, people going to laugh at me. Now nah, they got hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Forget the subscribers, forget about the super chats when they might do their live streams or their donations. You got big companies and that. I don't know them makeup companies, but they were sponsoring them. Sponsoring them on Instagram and that. How did it happen? It started from that one video. So this ain't even really true, say, but this ain't even really about writing a book or anything. Yeah, you can just apply this to other things. You got it. Look at ambition, look at drive, look at dream. Make that one video, make that one step. You don't know where it's gonna lead to. Don't know where it's gonna lead to, man. Like I was even 
writing about my my vending machine business and that. Yeah, that that that, that vending machine business not going nowhere. My vending machines are still in storage right now, you know. Yeah, a shore guard, a northwest London Park Royal gathering dust. That business was a failure. But it put me in a position where I had the confidence to resign from work. Although I got fired beforehand. Read the book, you'll find out. <laughs> I got fired from work. But obviously, I, 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 well, I planned on resigning. But before then, uh, yeah, let me buy a property. Because when I resign from work, I'm going to have my vending machine business income. I'm gonna be electrician. I'm an electrician, so I can do work on the side. So I'm gonna be in an okay position to be able to go out and fend for myself. If I never failed at that vending machine business, if I never started, if I never made that first move, you think, you think you'll be watching these videos? Yeah, in this space here, in this blood clot empty living room. No, 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 no. So. It starts with that first move. It starts with that first move. You know, let me show you my kitchen. Um, yeah, I used to have like an ivory kitchen. So ivory is like that, that ugly yellow kind of colour. I don't like it. Um, yeah, and I decided to change around the doors. Um, speaking of making that first move and that first step, I pretty much renovated my whole yard, you know. You know why? Because I had uh, some tiles on the floor. They were like like a dark charcoal grey coloured tiles on the floor. They had one hole in it. The hole was like the size of a golf ball or something like that. From that one tile. That one hole in that one tile, you know. A man renovated the whole property. Pretty much. Yeah. Done the bedroom upstairs. Done the carpet in the hallway upstairs. Done the carpet in the stairs. That the steps going downstairs. Painted all the walls in every room in the yard. Yeah. Renovated the whole property. Yeah, let me just quickly show you. Run, run around the kitchen and show you what I've done of recently. And it's all. Yeah. Man had the, the kitchen. I didn't like the, the kitchen beforehand or whatever, innit? Um, so I changed all the doors and that. Yeah, I changed all the doors and that um, to white gloss. See, I see we live in a, a throwaway society in this country where if we don't like the look of our kitchen, we will just remove the whole kitchen and dash it out on the street. No, 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 no. See, this is why English British people don't have no fucking money because they live in a throwaway society. I'm not ripping out the kitchen and throwing it out onto the street when I don't need to. No, I'm gonna go for the cheaper option and just change the doors. So anyway, let me just show you. So it used to be like an ivory color. And um, yeah, I've changed it to white gloss now. Done now. Look at the LEDs on the floor. Obviously they changed color and that because I got it on one sp specific setting and that. Yeah, so I'll change the doors. Obviously, the floor used to be um, like that dark, ugly, charcoal grey and that. Um, but yeah, obviously, man's man's done the tiling and that myself, innit? it? Yeah, that's it. That's it for now. All of this that you see, man wouldn't have had that. Yeah, man would not have this right now to show you. If I didn't make that first move and I didn't fail. Yeah. The most important thing is people need to know and stop, stop, stop thinking about people's opinions and that. Yeah, there might be something like, I guarantee you right now, there's some people like when I post it up on Facebook and that, they probably think, who, who, who does this guy think he is? The audacity to be writing a book. Like, who the fuck do you think you are? And I know one said that to man, but I know some people must be thinking like, who does he think he is writing a book? How dare you write a book? I even had a man in the gym. I even had a man in the gym. Man that I know, not my brethren, but man that I'm cool with or whatever, innit? Yeah. This is way before man 
put the book out or whatever, innit? This is when man's really, like, starting to write chapters and that, innit? And man's telling me, like, what, you, you're you going to write a book? I say, yeah. A man said, ah, oh, you know, it takes people five years, ten years to write a book. Yeah, that's them. That's them. It ain't taking me no five or ten years to write a book. And I ain't made a start yet. I'm going to make a start soon. Um, I'm going to have a new book coming out as well. So it's going to be about human nature and that, and basically why human beings do what they do in it. Because me, I always want to know why human beings do the things that they do. Like, what's the reason? Like, like why, why human beings are jealous? Uh, why human beings want to riot? Why human beings go on killing sprees and just stuff like that, innit? Like, you know, why people do the things that they do. Why people smile up in your face but talk behind your back. So I'm going to talk a lot about human nature, innit? Like women as well, relationships. I'm going to go all over the place with this thing. So this book's going to be a good book. And what I'm going to do is for every single chapter, which is a topic, I'm going to try and give a real life example. Hopefully, like 90% of them, I'm going to try and make them... It's from my own experience, but if not, I'll give an analogy from, you know, an example that I know, like a real life example that I know. But 95% of them will be from my life experience, whatever it is. So, yeah, man's going to go all over the place with this book. So, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a good book, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a good book, man. So, yeah, man. People for, 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 for you, you have to do things and, and you have to leave your mark on this planet, like, when man has grandkids, like, they'll be able to read my book, you know. Oh, great-grandma. You think any of my grandparents have a book? I don't know nothing about my great-grandparents. Just look at one, two little stories here and there, which might be Chinese whispers. Which might be Chinese whispers. But when, when, when man's long gone and that, my great grand Pitney them can pick up my book and learn about my mother... Yeah, just little bits of information, they're better than nothing. They know her name and that. But then they can learn about me. And they will fucking find it interesting and that. Because me, I don't know no backstories about my great-grandparents. I just know what they look like, like a younger picture, their names, and that they're from Jamaica. That's it. Don't know nothing about them. Don't know nothing about them. So, yeah. Um, yeah, going to be bringing out a new book soon. Uh, well, yeah, I'll be bringing out a, 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 out a new book. Yeah, yeah so we yeah, just have to get started and that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't know how long it's going to take me though, because there's going to be a lot of chapters, definitely a lot of talking points in this in this book. In it, but yeah, back to the original point. If you want to write a book, just make a Ras Clark start. Start in the middle. Don't don't think. Don't worry about start. Starting in the beginning, starting at the end, start in the middle, start in the middle, especially your biography, start in the middle, then work your way backwards and work your way forwards. Next thing you know, you've got 10 chapters, boom, then you start inserting chapters. So say, for example, you've got chapter six and chapter seven, and you insert one in between chapter six and number seven. Well, chapter seven now becomes chapter eight, and yeah, you start rejigging it and that, yeah, so... Yeah, man, make a start today, innit? Yeah. Stay away. Run, though.